we need to partition the numbers below. So when we partition numbers, what we're doing is showing the value of each digit. So first, we have 40,951. This 4 is in our 10 thousands, so that represents 40,000. That's 4 followed by 4 zeros, because we can see in our number that after the 4, we have 4 digits. Now, we have 0 in our thousands, but we don't partition zeros, because whatever place value a 0 is in, its value is just 0. Zeros in numbers act as placeholders, so they give the other digits their value, but they don't have any value in themselves. We need this zero in our thousands to show that the four is in our ten thousands. If we didn't have the zero, the four would be in our thousands. So we need this zero here to act as a placeholder, but it doesn't have any value in itself. So we can move on to our hundreds digit. We have a nine, so that's nine hundred. Then we have 5 in our tens, so that's 50, and 1 in our ones is just 1. Now what we can do is add up our partitioned numbers, and when we do that, we get 40,951, so the number that we started with. Now let's partition 583,912. We have 5 in our 100 thousands place value column, so that's 500,000. We have 8 in our 10 thousands, so that's 80,000. 8 followed by 4 zeros, because we can see in our number that after the 8, we have 4 digits. We have 3 in our thousands place value, so that's 3,000. This 9 is in our hundreds, so represents 900. We have 1 in our tens, so that's 10 and the 2 in our 1s is just 2. So again, we can show this partition as an addition, because if we add the numbers that we've partitioned, we get the number that we started with. Now we have 450,155. This 4 is in our 100 thousands, so that stands for 400,000. 4 followed by 5 zeros, because after the 4, we have 5 digits in our number. This 5 is in our 10 thousands, so that's 50,000. We have a 0 in our thousands, but we don't partition zeros, because 0, whatever place value it's in, always represents 0. We have zeros in numbers, because they give other digits the correct value, so they make sure that other digits are in the right place value column but zeros don't have any value in themselves. So we can move on to our hundreds digit. We have a 1, so that's 100. We have 5 in our tens, so that's 50. And we have 5 in our ones, which is just 5. Again, if we add up our partitioned numbers, we get the number that we started with. Now we can also represent numbers using place value counters. So first, we had 40,951. So that's four ten thousands, no thousands, nine hundreds, five tens, and one one. Then we had 583,912. So that's five hundred thousands, eight ten thousands, three thousands, nine hundreds, one ten, and two ones. And our last number was 450,155. So we can show 400,000 place value counters, 5 ten thousands, no thousands, 100, 5 tens, and 5 ones.